Hello, welcome to Oceanic Oracle. My name is Ari and today I'm going to be sharing my December TBR with all of you. Yes, it's the end of the year. December is finally here and this year went by so quickly. It's almost December. I'm filming this in the last week of November. I've got a Christmas jumper on. I'm I have a real mix of things that I want to read this month. Some of them are definitely Christmas related, uh, others are different holidays, and I have a few murder mysteries as well. I also have like general celebration and I'm being nice to myself in December, I'm just going to pick up whatever I want and I don't need to, well, I don't need to actually stick to a TBR. If I want to pick up something else, I can. That's just what I'm going to be doing in general. So before we get started in this video, shall we get started? Okay, let's start off, I guess, with the sort of non-Christmassy books or non, I, I guess non-celebratory books. But uh, two books that I want to read in December are King of Scars and Rule of Wolves. I did not get to these in November. I did not get to them. Uh, I was in a bit of a fantasy slump in November, which is fair enough. I didn't really feel like reading them, which is okay. So I should be able to crack them out in December. These two books are the like third series in Lee Bardugo's Grishaverse. If you haven't read the Shadow and Bone series, so it's Shadow and Bone trilogy, then, um, then Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, and then you go on to King of Scars and Rule of Wolves. These follow characters who are in the Shadow and Bone trilogy, as well as a character from the Six of Crows duology. So these are like third series in the world. It follows events that happen in the Shadow and Bone series, so I don't really want to spoil anything for people. So if you're interested, if you haven't read these, um, I would look them up on Goodreads or whatever but browsing platform you use. I'm excited, these follow one of my favourite characters from the series. Actually, like, I, like, I, I just, I love, I love the characters and the stuff so I am looking forward to picking those up in December. Another book that I recently got that is not related to Christmas is How We Fall by Katie Zhao. This is said to be a combination of One of Us is Lying and Crazy Rich Asians and it is a thriller. Uh, again, nothing to do with Christmas. I picked this book up because I've seen I, I've seen the author talk a lot on Twitter and I was really interested and intrigued. So the queen bee in the school has found dead and no one knows what's actually happened and people are pointing the fingers at Jamie the queen bee's former friends. The track star Akil uh, fashionista Crystal, grades focused Alexander, and scholarship student Nancy. They're all being investigated, I guess. So this book looks, to, or the Proctor looks to reveal their deepest, darkest secrets, and um, they try and race to find the actual killer. Sounds really fun. Well, it sounds interesting. I am looking forward to picking that up. It is a new YA book. Yeah, can't wait to read that. So those are really the like um, unholiday-esque things and uncelebratory books. This is the only other physical book that I have here and this is The Party Crasher by Sophie Kinsella. This book follows Elle and she's not over the fact that both her parents separated. Um, uh, she sees her dad and his new girlfriend post um some pretty dodgy stuff all over social media mainly just pda like her dad is selling the old family house and she is quite upset about that her dad and his new girlfriend are having a um house closing party while this is going on and because the home is being sold um l actually remembers that she's hidden a set of expensive i think it's russian dolls um, she's hidden them in a, like in a place in the house so she decides to crash the party uh, in order to take them and sell them to make some money. Uh, while she's there she bumps into her ex who she is not over and um, she also can't find the dolls where they were hidden so nothing is going to plan. With time and hiding places running out Elle wonders if, the, if crashing this party was actually worth it 
Elle starts to wonder if she's better off just crashing the party to see what's actually going on with her family. It sounds interesting, like it's going to be pretty, I'm assuming angsty, but just from what I've read. December for me is usually seen as like a huge celebratory, like end of year, lots of parties to go to, and that's what this book sort of gives off, so there's that. Now on to the books on my e-reader or my kindle. I guess I'll start off with the uh, not romance one and that book is Hercule Poirot's Christmas. So this book takes place on Christmas Eve and the family in question are reunited but then shattered when they hear furniture crash and a loud scream. Upstairs the tyrannical Simone Lee lies dead in a pool of blood with his throat slashed. But when Hercule Poirot, who is staying in the village, offers to assist, he finds um, the atmosphere not of mourning, but of mutual uh, suspicion. Uh, it seems that everyone had their own reasons to hate this um, this old man. I'm looking forward to reading another Hercule Poirot book. I last read one in October and I'm looking forward to picking up another. I enjoy Agatha Christie's writing, uh, I really like her mysteries, I don't usually see the plot twists before they happen which is great. So I'm looking forward to reading a sort of Christmassy one. The next book that I have on my Kindle is The Holiday Switch. This is a YA Christmas book. It's about two rival co-workers with two very big secrets. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, in this book, the main character, Leah Santos, she's back home for her last winter break of her year, or of her time at high school. Uh, she's back home and she's earning some extra cash working at the local inn. Uh, and she's also moonlighting as an anonymous book blogger which is quite fun but her perfect holiday plans are ruined when her, her boss's frustratingly cute nephew uh comes her co-worker they really don't get along so it's a sort of like this not i don't know if it's hate to love could be hate to love hate to love sort of book uh where they don't get along one day they accidentally end up swapping their phones and they discover that there is more to each other than meets the eye it just sounds like such a fun book and I can't wait to pick it up in December. Um, the next book that I have on my Kindle is A Holly Jolly Diwali. This is by Sonia Lully and it's about a type A data analyst. Uh, she gets laid off from her job and on a like split split second decision she decides to go to her best friend Daya's wedding in India. Uh, she heads off to Mumbai. While she's in Mumbai, she meets London-based musician Samir, otherwise known as Sam, and they hit off at Daya's wedding. Nikki and Sam get invited to like Daya and some of her other friends and her new husband's honeymoon, and their attraction steadily grows. Nikki gets offered a job and she has to make the decision as to whether or not she wants to spend some more or where she's going to take her life if she wants to be more free-spirited like Sam or if she wants to go back to data analysis because she's actually quite a creative person she's not just a she's not just someone who focuses on data I'm really looking forward to this this sounds really fun I like I can't wait to read it. I haven't read many romance novels. Well, I haven't read many novels that are based in India. I'm looking forward to picking it up. Uh, it sounds really fun and it just seems like it just seems like the time to read it in December. So uh, that's that's on my list. The next one, I guess the next one I have on here on my Kindle is Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. I've read one Tessa Bailey book in the past, which is why this got recommended to me on Goodreads. This is about Stella and it takes place two weeks before Christmas in Manhattan and Stella is walking down the streets of Fifth Avenue, I think, yes, Fifth Avenue, uh, with the shop windows all decorated to look like Christmas, so there's red and green tinsel everywhere. Like, she starts outside this window in like this the shop called Vivant and this guy, Aiden, asks her what she thinks of the window display. She tells him the truth, not knowing that he's actually the guy who owns the shop and is in charge of the window display. So he hires her and see, he asks for a better idea and she decides to give it a go. 
and then she ends up working for him and also ends up uh i guess falling in love with him uh, as you expect in a romance book i like tessa bailey's writing i liked her book fix her up and i'm excited hopefully hopefully this one is enjoyable too last but not least on my sort of list is the matzo ball this book follows rachel rachel is a good jewish girl but she has one secret uh, that she hides from all of her family she loves christmas uh, so she is actually a famous like christmas romance writer uh, but none of her family know she loves writing about the sort of like magical like the magical time that christmases and romances surrounding that and one day her diversity conscious publisher asks her to write a hanukkah romance instead of a instead of a christmas one which you'd think she would know how to write but her well of imagination runs dry so she decides to go to this event called the matzo ball which is a very big uh, jewish music celebration that takes place on the last night of hanukkah she bumps into her old summer camp arch nemesis jacob and lo and behold they still hate each other all that time later but as the night wears on rachel starts to realize that she doesn't actually hate jacob and she actually enjoys the celebration of hanukkah and i think that gets her inspired I, i'm just really excited for this book it sounds like a fun romance and i'm looking forward to it i cannot wait so there you go that's my basis on what i want to read in december i'll probably end up reading something different depending on my mood and it, it all just depends like in all honesty i have been in a bit of a slump so i think giving myself the freedom to choose whatever is great and there are no readathons that i'm taking part in so and that helps too thank you for watching if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe if you want more bookish content my social media links are in the description so feel free to follow me on those platforms uh, i hope you have a good day or night depending on when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next video bye